first thing you want to do when you're trying to figure out a cross-picking arrangement of the tune is to figure out the melody, because that's really what this is doing, is it's a way to play the melody. And then the chords as well. So, home sweet home, the melody is... Okay. So it's good to find that melody first. are pretty straightforward there and they kind of follow the middle melody so you've got C F back to C and then G and that's actually the seventh of the G there and then back to C okay so let me play the a part of this arrangement and then we'll take it apart it's home sweet home Notice that we're starting with that 3-3-2 three, three, pattern, pretty strong. We'll start with two pickup notes on the melody, and there's where the song starts. That's the downbeat of the first measure. So we're starting the same pattern, that traditional picking pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. Now if I'm taking that and using alternating picking, the way that'll work is it'll be down, up, down, up, down, up. So you, it gets, the pattern gets almost flipped there as far as the way the picking works. The first three note group is down, up, down. The next one is up, down, up. Now that's a little tricky, you'll notice, when you go from that down stroke back to that up stroke. Your pick has to jump over two strings to get back to, from that C to the E. And that's just something that's going to take practice. There's no real secrets of how to make that smoother. It's just a matter of getting used to those rolls. And, you know, once you've learned this arrangement, or maybe even before, it's not a bad idea to just kind of get that roll in your pick. So just take that little partial chord, if you want. to get that roll in there okay so let's go back to that melody we've got the first measure and it changes to the F chord now here we're going to change it up a little bit we're doing a three note roll with that F note as our melody and then the next one the melody goes up there remember that melody was so the melody goes there so we've got a catch that melody note in the next roll. Okay, so that's the second measure. Okay, we're on the F, all on the F chord there. So there's a three note roll. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. So we've got... Then following on with the melody from there the melody goes so once again it's that traditional 3-3-2 pattern now you'll notice that in all of these patterns the melody is the, the bottom note and then you've got two strings on the top that were, that constitute our roll Unfortunately, the way this melody works, we've got strings on there. Um, if you end up having a melody that goes up to that second string or even first string, sometimes you have to play around with the way the, the cross-picking works. But in this tune, for the most part, we're uh, fortunate that the melody, we can play that melody on the G string or lower. So we get back to that C chord. And then in, in the fourth bar there, we're going to get away from that pattern a little bit, and we're going to do this. Okay. 
So the melody is gone. It goes. Okay. And that one, what I do is a three note roll. And then I'm going to slide up. And slide up with my second finger up to the fifth fret on the D string. Play the open G. And then I'm going to put my third finger down there on the B string, the fifth fret to get that E note, and then also an E note up here. And it, so you're going through those top four strings. So that measure is... Okay. Just a little, breaking our pattern just a little bit. Now we go back to the melody. That's where we are in the melody. So let me just play it. Um, where we are here, and then we'll go on. Now here's where it changes to the G chord, and the melody is on the seventh. So the melody is going to go. And here we're going to use some, some traditional cross picking patterns. So on that G chord, we're gonna just slide this little shape that we were on with the C chord down to the third fret. We're not gonna really hold a full G chord there. We don't really need to, we just need those strings. And that melody is the F note or the seventh of the G chord. So we can just play that little chord, chord fragment there. And we'll start again, another traditional 3-3-2 pattern. Okay, so it's... Melody is there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And then we're back to the C chord. And once we get to this C chord, we're going to change up that pattern a little bit and just play three note rolls until it comes time to repeat the melody. So instead of doing three, three, two, we're just going to repeat three. I think in this case it's four times. But we're just going to sort of think of it as like when is it time to start playing the next melody. So starting from the G chord. Okay, so we did three, three rolls there. And then went down to that C note to catch the lead into the melody again. Okay. And then that A part repeats itself. case we're going to end it a little bit different to get ready for the second part. So we're, once we got back to that C chord from the G we go so a nice little 3-3-2 three, three, pattern on that C, C chord.